What is up guys, Ben and Joe aka Casper and Stopping here from Codename Pizza and today we're going to be bringing you an in-depth breakdown of the Shadows of Evil trailer now we know everything from the Black Ops 3 beta. This video actually took a very long time to put together so if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button that would be massively appreciated. Now let's get on with the video. Codename Pizza, ready to game. Okay guys, so the first thing that caught my eye is this bus right here. It looks just like the bus out of transit, and that's going to play a big part in this trailer breakdown. There's a lot of things in this trailer that gives reference to older zombies maps. Now look at this guys, if you look at the car locations that's on this screen right now, it's the exact same car locations that are on transit under the bridge where the M16 is. I have no idea why Treyarch would put this in, but it's pretty cool that they've done this. Now it did actually take me a while to figure this out, I was staring at the screen for ages thinking where I've seen this before, but that is definitely the exact same car locations as we see in transit. And also up top on that image is also a clock that has the time 1.15 as many of the clocks in the zombie franchise has. And again there's another bus in the background of this image when this girl's running away. Now are Treyarch trying to tell us that this crew has something to do with the crew from transit? Maybe. The next interesting things that we see is the guns that we're going to be using. We see this revolver that's not on the multiplayer beta so we don't know what it's called yet. It could be the Cobra. If we have a look on the next one we also see the Type 100. I don't know if it's going to be called that but it looks very similar. And then we have the pistol again and then what looks to me like an LMG. Now you'll see later on in the video that I actually find the LMG in multiplayer beta so we know what it is. And then also we see another bus that looks like the bus from Transit. Okay, next we get actual gameplay of this weapon that looks like the Type 100 from World at War. And then on the left hand side of this image you see these symbols. Now we've seen these symbols before. We've seen them in an image that Treyarch actually released a few months prior to this trailer being released. And we see them again on the right hand side. I don't know if these have been deciphered yet but we'll try and do that and let you guys know. Also on this image we see a kaboom, a nuke drop. And on top of that I think I see a double points but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so as the camera goes underneath this bridge now, we actually get the first chalk outline of a war weapon that we can see. To me, this looks like the weapon that's called the Arc 7 from the multiplayer beta. After this, we see the first shot of the gumball machine, which is going to hold the new perks. And then after that, we also get another chalk outline, which I cannot make out because it's so far away. Now the next shot we see is this sniper rifle. Now this sniper rifle is also from the Black Ops 3 beta and it's called the Locus. Now as you see here, this is where you get to see a new ability. This guy right here is knifing while shooting his weapon. This leaves his second hand free to do whatever he wants. This is what the ability is. Now later on in the trailer, we see him shooting a gun and also having his hand free. So maybe you'll be able to throw grenades as well as shooting as well. Also in this clip, we see a light. Now that light is from the docks in Mob of the Dead. We see loads more references to Mob of the Dead, including the docks themselves later on in the trailer. Okay, so this girl right here is shooting this weapon. Now, this weapon is also in the multiplayer beta, and it's called the HVK-30. Now, it's an assault rifle, and it's pretty awesome. Now, also in this image, we see another gumball location on the left-hand side. And on the left-hand side of her here, you also see something that could be a trap. Now, on this next bit, we see this weapon again. Now, it looks like she clicks something, and the ability changes from shooting bullets to shooting basically energy you see this energy field shoot over and then blow the zombies up in this image right here we see another throwback to transit and the crew from transit we actually see what i believe to be martin's watch now back in 2012 a lot of rumors were going around saying that martin's watch did a lot more than it did in the game did nothing but in this, I believe this is it. I think it has something to do with this crew and the old crew maybe communicating. Here we see what could be another throwback to the transit crew, which is these. It kind of throws you back to the Galvanuckles. Now this might just be saying that the Galvanuckles are returning or it might have nothing to do with it. All they are are knuckle dusters. But then the thing behind it also looks like the lights that are on the switchboards in Darice and Kino de Totem. In this screen we see what I thought originally was an artillery strike because they were in the coding of Black Ops 2 zombies and we never really saw them except from the grenade we got in Origins that kind of did that. But now I believe that we're actually exploding bullets, basically being an upgrade maybe in the Pack-a-Punch machine or separately. 
Okay, so this is the first sign of the insta-kill drop that's coming back. And then after that, we also get this weird number. We get the number 2000. I have no idea what this is. Could it be the amount of zombies you need to kill? Or could it be a time machine? That's what I would like it to be. But we've already got the MDT teleporters. So I have no idea what this would be. Later on, we actually get another number that says 29. And I'll point that out to you in a little bit. Now, after that, the next thing we get is this tattoo that I'm really intrigued about. It looks like a skull with a snake going through its mouth. This might not mean anything, but tattoos have mean stuff in the past in zombies. If we look at the map Shangri-La, we see that the Mayans that are coming out as zombies have tattoos on their chests. Now, these show the Mayan calendar. So maybe this could mean something. Now after that we get the first mystery box location. The mystery box isn't there but the teddy bear sat on there showing that that is a location that it could be. And also we get some more gameplay of this weapon that I showed you before that is actually on the multiplayer beta. There's one more thing on here. If you look on the right hand side there's a load of candles spread out. They kind of look to me like the candles on Mob of the Dead and you'll see a better shot of them later and they really do look exactly the same. Now we're seeing here what looks to be a new ability, we're not going to just be able to knife just like the multiplayer beta, it's actually a punch or a throw of your weapon. Now to get the knife maybe we have to go and buy the bowie knife or the galva knuckles or whatever they have on this game because obviously we're going to be punching from now and this is showing that ability off. Now this is probably one of my favourite screenshots on this whole trailer breakdown. If we look on the left hand side we have these doors that are all locked up. Maybe we have to get the mutant alien thing that we see later on in the trailer to help us get that open. Now also on this we see something that looks kind of like a soul chest. We see that blue light coming out of it and then on the right of that we see a green light which obviously could mean a trap. There's one more thing on this screen. Doc, I told you there was more Mob of the Dead references and there are more than this as well. I just wanted to throw that in as a bit of a throwback. Also, we see the sword here, which is either a new weapon or a new ability that we can learn in this game. Okay, so next we see another example of the insta-kill drop that's definitely coming back and then another gumball location. After that, we see the sword that he was just wielding do the exact same thing as what we know as the Hell's Redeemer in Mob of the Dead. The next thing we see is the gravity spikes ability that we see from multiplayer, which is just awesome. I've got some footage of me playing multiplayer doing that that I can put on the screen now. And honestly, guys, it's so cool. We also see the aftermath of it on the zombies, and it looks like to be kind of the same thing as Electric Cherry did on Mob of the Dead. Now, I'm not actually 100% sure on this one here, but we see this guy shooting and he gets this drop. It looks like an insta-kill. And then the zombies seem to move the insta-kill along. Now, we've never seen that before in zombies. Now, we also see this green smoke that looks like what we know as the perma perks from Black Ops 2. So maybe the perma perks are coming back again. So the next cool thing we actually get to see is this rocket powered riot shield. Now we did have the riot shield in Black Ops 2 zombies and we had to do that by doing buildable items from around the map and taking them to the buildable tables. Now maybe it's the same in Black Ops 3, maybe it is a buildable, maybe it's not. I'm assuming it's a buildable because we don't see the riot shield in multiplayer at all. Now when we see it from a different perspective we actually get to see this bird on the front of the riot shield. After that, we also get to see another chalk drawing in the back, but I can't make it out because it's too blurry. Next, we move on to the gumball machines, which are going to be essentially new perks in this map. I think it's a way that Treyarch are able to put multiple perks into the map without having multiple perk locations. Now, we get to see this red gumball come up through the gumball machine, but then it comes out as purple. But then we get to see the uh, perk symbol on the front of it, and it's a guy with another guy. And we actually get to see one frame of footage just after this, which shows the ability off. It's basically a cloning mechanism. None of the zombies are going towards the player themselves because he has clones. So all the zombies are going towards the clones of him. The next thing we see is another gumball perk and it's actually a zombie's hand as the symbol. Now we get to see more gameplay of this revolver but then a max ammo appears. Is this perk an ability to maybe summon perks? Now we get to see the third and final gumball perk that was shown in the trailer. Now it's just got a question mark on it. So maybe this means that this isn't the only thing it does. But we actually get to see this woman who basically blows up. 
Now, if you pay close attention to the chalk outline of that gun there, it is actually a sniper rifle that we saw before. If you pay close attention to that chalk outline, you actually get to see how large this blast radius is. Between these two images, there is a massive blast radius there. So this perk clearly does a lot of damage. Okay, so right here we get another shot of that 2000 number and it's not changed. So I have no idea what it could be. I originally thought it might be zombie kills, but it hasn't changed. So I have no idea. Just after that, we actually get to see this ability again where you can do something with your hand whilst also shooting. Now in this, he actually doesn't do anything, but this could possibly be where you could throw a grenade or knife a zombie as well. After that, we see this weird thing that kind of looks like a soul chest. And this is actually coming up to my favourite bit. We see another chalk outline there, and then you turn into this mutant. Now, the best thing that I've noticed in this whole trailer that I don't think anyone's ever picked up on is this doorway on the right-hand side. It wasn't there before, and now it is. So maybe this is kind of like the afterlife mode in Mob of the Dead. There's so much in this map that's like Mob of the Dead. And also, Treyarch actually did a conference where they said this map is massively linked to Mob of the Dead. This next bit is really interesting. We see the characters looking very confused. This is clearly indicating the 7 second time lapse is still in place. We've seen this time lapse since the beginning of Zombies in the clock on Doris and Mob of the Dead and even on the opening cutscene of Die Rise and now we know that it's still in place on Shadows of Evil. This huge monster mutant thing then appears. I don't really want to talk too much about that because to be quite honest I don't know much about it. We won't really know much about it until the game comes out. The only thing I can tell you is that the way to destroy it is by hitting its face when it's yellow. Now we get to see some gameplay of this LMG here. Now this is on the multiplayer beta and it's called the Dingo. Here is another light that looks like the lights from Mob of the Dead and then we get to see these flying mutant things. Now these are essentially the new type of dog round for this map. We see that they teleport in on this clip right here and they'll basically come in every four or five rounds. Here we get to see another brand new weapon that's on the multiplayer beta, which is a shotgun. It's called the KRM-262. One of the last things that I want to show you guys now is this right here. It's basically this floating box. Now, there's not a lot to say about this because I have no idea what it is. All we see is that this guy just appears out of nowhere. So is he being resurrected or is he being killed? I don't know. The thing I really want to point out on this is that there's this spinning sphere at the bottom on the table. Now it kind of looks like the spheres we see on Moon that we put into the pyramid structure and also the spheres that we saw on Die Rise that we had to shoot out of the dragon's mouths using the sniper rifle. And that is everything that I really want to tell you about the Shadows of Evil trailer, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe if you are brand new. Make sure that you follow us on Twitter. We are at Codename Pizza. And thank you for watching, guys, and peace out.